Greetings, dear viewer. You've stumbled upon a video that might just change your life. It's about a danger so insidious, so seductive, that it ensnares even the brightest minds, the siren song of inaction. Think of the ancient library of Alexandria, a beacon of knowledge tragically consumed by flames. What if someone had taken action to protect those priceless scrolls? Let's delve into the real-world consequences of letting opportunities slip through our fingers, shall we? Imagine a world where groundbreaking discoveries remained hidden, where artistic masterpieces were left unpainted, where entrepreneurial dreams withered on the vine. Consider the story of Blockbuster Video. Once a titan of the home entertainment industry, it fell victim to the siren song of complacency. They ignored the disruptive power of streaming services like Netflix, clinging to their brick-and-mortar empire until it crumbled around them. Or take the case of Kodak, a pioneer in photography that failed to adapt to the digital revolution. These are stark reminders that in the ever-evolving tapestry of life, standing still is akin to moving backward. The world, my friend, is in a state of perpetual flux. It's a swirling vortex of change, a relentless tide that waits for no one. Think back to the Industrial Revolution, a period of unprecedented technological advancement. Those who embraced the change thrived. The same holds true today. The digital age has ushered in a new era of disruption, with artificial intelligence, automation and globalization reshaping industries at an unprecedented pace. To remain stagnant in this dynamic environment is to court disaster. It's like trying to sail a ship against a hurricane, clinging desperately to the mast as the winds of change threaten to tear you apart. But fear not, dear viewer, for there is another way. Throughout history, humanity has been shaped by those who dared to act. Think of Alexander the Great, a visionary leader who conquered vast empires with his unwavering determination. Or Marie Curie, who defied societal norms and revolutionized science with her groundbreaking research on radioactivity. These individuals understood that action is the catalyst for progress. They embraced challenges, took calculated risks, and refused to let fear paralyze them. Here at MJoga Coaching and Consulting, we understand the power of action. Our approach is rooted in a simple yet profound philosophy to empower you, the individual, to take control of your career destiny. We provide you with the tools, strategies and support you need to navigate the complexities of the modern workplace and achieve your professional aspirations. Our team of expert coach and consultants has guided countless individuals just like you on their journey to career excellence. So, dear viewer, I ask you now, are you content to be a passive observer in your own life or are you ready to seize the reins and chart your own course? The choice is yours. But remember this, the only wrong decision is the decision to do nothing. Take that first step today. Contact M. Joga Coaching and Consulting and book your complimentary career breakthrough call. Your future awaits. Ah, Alexander the Great, a name synonymous with conquest, ambition and a thirst for greatness. Imagine a young man barely out of his teens inheriting a kingdom teetering on the brink of chaos. Alexander dreamt of an empire that would stretch from the Aegean Sea to the ends of the known world. And he didn't just dream it, he lived it. His story isn't just about military prowess, it's about the sheer audacity of action, the refusal to accept limitations. He united the fractious Greek city-states, each with their own agendas and rivalries. Alexander understood that to achieve greatness one must first act and act decisively. He wasn't about sitting around pondering the meaning of life while the world passed him by. Alexander grabbed life by the horns. Now, some might say, but Alexander was practically born into greatness. And while it's true he had a royal leg up, 
Let's not forget the lad had a demanding father in King Philip II. Imagine growing up with your old man conquering everything but the local bakery. Talk about pressure. But young Alexander didn't buckle under pressure. He thrived on it. Remember Bucephalus, that wild, untamable stallion that had even seasoned horsemen running for the hills? Alexander tamed the beast, becoming practically inseparable. From the very beginning, Alexander understood that inaction breeds doubt, while action, even in the face of fear, breeds courage. Leading from the front, inspiring his troops with his own courage and daring, he didn't just command, he inspired. Now, dear viewers, imagine the scene. The year is 334 BC. The mighty Persian Empire, ruled by the king of kings, Darius III, stands as the ultimate prize. It was considered by many to be an insurmountable foe, an empire so vast, so wealthy, so powerful, that to challenge it seemed like an act of madness. But Alexander, fueled by the fires of ambition and a burning desire to surpass even his father's legacy, wasn't one to be deterred. He stood on the shores of the Hellespont, the narrow strait separating Europe from Asia, a symbolic barrier between the known and the unknown, and gave the order to cross. Think of the logistical nightmare, an army of Macedonians and their Greek allies, thousands strong with their horses, elephants, siege towers, and enough provisions to feed a small city, all needing to cross a narrow strip of water. But cross they did, and with a speed that would make a modern general blush. This wasn't some haphazard invasion. Alexander, ever the strategist, had planned meticulously. The Persian satraps, caught off guard by the audacity and speed of Alexander's advance, were routed in a series of swift and decisive battles. Now, the road to glory is rarely paved with rose petals, and Alexander's Persian adventure was no exception. The Persian Empire, vast and wealthy, had a nasty habit of bouncing back. Darius III, finally realising the gravity of the Macedonian threat, gathered an army so large it was said to have darkened the skies. Imagine the scene. The sun glinting off thousands of Persian shields, a sea of chariots stretching as far as the eye could see, war elephants trumpeting their defiance, and at the heart of it all, the opulent tent of Darius himself. At Gogamela, on a dusty plain in what is now Iraq, the two armies met in a battle that would echo through history. Alexander, outnumbered but never outmaneuvered, led his companion cavalry in a daring charge that shattered the Persian lines. Alexander's unwavering belief in his own destiny, his ability to inspire his men to achieve the seemingly impossible, and his refusal to back down from a challenge won the day. Now, some might say Alexander was ruthless, a conqueror obsessed with expanding his empire. And while there's no denying his ambition, to paint him as a one-dimensional tyrant misses the mark entirely. Alexander was a student of Aristotle, a philosopher king who believed in the power of knowledge and the importance of understanding different cultures. He didn't just conquer lands, he sought to integrate them into his empire encouraging cultural exchange and promoting the spread of Greek ideas and learning. He adopted Persian customs, married Persian women, and encouraged his generals to do the same. Was he perfect? Of course not. He could be impulsive, even reckless at times, but his legacy is undeniable. He changed the course of history, spreading Greek culture throughout the known world, and his name became synonymous with ambition, courage, and the indomitable human spirit. Now let's shift gears, shall we? From the sun-drenched battlefields of ancient Persia to the dimly lit laboratories of late 19th century Paris. Here, another kind of pioneer was making history, not with swords and shields, but with test tubes and a relentless curiosity that would illuminate the world. I speak, of course, of Marie Sklodowska Curie, a name synonymous with scientific brilliance, unwavering determination, and a healthy dose of radioactivity. Born in Warsaw, Poland, at a time when women were expected to do little more than mind the hearth and home, young Marie dreamt of a world beyond societal constraints. 
she faced prejudice, poverty, and the often chilly reception of the male-dominated scientific community. But Marie, with the tenacity of a bulldog guarding a particularly delicious bone, persevered. Now, some might romanticize Marie Curie's life, focusing solely on her scientific triumphs. But let's not forget, dear viewers, that her journey was fraught with challenges. Imagine the sheer dedication required to conduct groundbreaking research in a leaky, drafty shed with minimal equipment and even less funding. This wasn't some state-of-the-art facility with all the bells and whistles. This was scientific exploration on a shoestring budget. And yet, it was in this humble setting that Marie, along with her husband Pierre, made their most significant discoveries. They understood that true scientific breakthroughs often require sacrifice, dedication, and a willingness to embrace the unknown, no matter the personal cost. Ah, but what a legacy they left behind. Marie Curie, twice awarded the Nobel Prize, once for physics in 1903, and again for chemistry in 1911, became the first woman to achieve this honor and the only person to date to win Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields. Talk about smashing glass ceilings. Her discoveries, particularly the isolation of radium and polonium, revolutionized our understanding of the atom and paved the way for new and innovative treatments for cancer. Imagine, dear viewers, a world without radiation therapy, without x-rays, without the countless medical advancements made possible by the Curie's pioneering research. But it wasn't just her scientific contributions that left an indelible mark on history. Marie Curie's unwavering determination, her relentless pursuit of knowledge, and her refusal to be defined by societal limitations inspired generations of scientists, particularly women, to break down barriers and pursue their passions with unwavering zeal. She showed the world that brilliance knows no gender, that the pursuit of knowledge transcends borders, and that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit, fueled by passion and a healthy dose of scientific curiosity, can achieve the extraordinary. Now let's fast forward a bit, shall we? From the world of radioactive elements to the digital age, where another kind of pioneer was busy changing the world one bite at a time, I speak, of course, of Steve Jobs, the enigmatic co-founder of Apple Inc. Jobs, a college dropout with a passion for calligraphy and a vision for personal computing, embodied Silicon Valley's entrepreneurial spirit. He wasn't afraid to take risks, to challenge the status quo. He understood that technology could be a form of art, a way to connect with the world, some might say Jobs was difficult, a perfectionist who demanded the best. And while he had his quirks, incredible products emerged from his pursuit of excellence. The Macintosh, the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, these were game changers, revolutionizing how we communicate and interact with the world. Jobs understood the power of action, the importance of vision, and the need for unwavering belief in one's abilities. He knew the greatest risk was not in trying and failing, but in doing nothing at all. He once said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Wise words, wouldn't you say? Jobs reminded us that life is meant to be lived on our own terms and that the only limits to what we can achieve are the ones we place on ourselves. Now, dear viewers, let's talk about a beast we all know far too well. A beast that lurks in the shadows of our minds, whispering sweet nothings of later and tomorrow. I speak, of course, of procrastination. Oh, procrastination, that seductive temptress that lures us into her web of inaction with promises of a more convenient time, a less stressful moment. But let me tell you, my friends, that moment rarely, if ever, arrives. We tell ourselves, I'll update my resume. Tomorrow, I'll network with colleagues next week. I'll apply for that dream job when I'm feeling more confident. But tomorrow turns into next week, which morphs into next month. And before we know it, years have passed, and we're still stuck in the same rut, wondering where all the time went. Procrastination, you see, is a master of disguise. It masquerades as harmless laziness, a bit of well-deserved rest. But beneath that veneer of harmlessness lies a dangerous truth. 
Procrastination is a thief. It steals our time, our energy, and ultimately our potential. It's like that overflowing inbox we swear we'll tackle later, that ever-growing to-do list that fills us with a sense of impending doom. We avoid, we delay, we tell ourselves we work better under pressure, but deep down, we know the truth. Procrastination is nothing more than fear dressed up in comfy pyjamas. The paralysis of analysis, overthinking ourselves into oblivion. Procrastination's cousin is the paralysis of analysis. Overthinking leads to inaction. We analyze every outcome until we're paralyzed. We research career paths endlessly. Comparing options leaves us more confused. Seeking advice often adds to our indecision. The paralysis of analysis is a cunning beast. The fear factor. When inaction masquerades as prudence, Fear, that primal instinct designed to protect us, can also be our greatest saboteur. We fear failure, of course, the judgment, the whispers of, I told you so. We fear the unknown, stepping outside our comfort zones. We cling to the familiar, even if it leaves us unfulfilled. And let's not forget the fear of success. Success brings new responsibilities and higher expectations. Fear whispers lies, convincing us that inaction is safest. But fear thrives on inaction. Lost in the shuffle, the opportunity cost of doing nothing, now the consequences of inaction extend far beyond the realm of missed deadlines and unrealized potential. There's a hidden cost, a silent thief that robs us of something far more precious, opportunity. Every time we choose inaction, every time we allow fear or procrastination to dictate our choices, we close ourselves off to a world of possibilities. We miss out on chances to learn new skills, to expand our networks, to make valuable connections and to create a future that aligns with our passions and aspirations. Think of it this way. Every moment we spend in a state of inertia is a moment that can never be reclaimed. It's a missed opportunity to invest in ourselves, to take a step, however small, towards a more fulfilling and purposeful career. The opportunity cost of doing nothing is not always immediately apparent. It's the gradual erosion of our dreams, the slow fade of our aspirations, the quiet resignation to a life less lived. It's the nagging feeling that we're capable of more, but we lack the courage, the motivation, or the sheer will to pursue it. Now, dear viewers, let's talk about a particularly insidious foe. One that creeps up on us slowly, almost imperceptibly, until its grip is so tight, it's difficult to break free. I speak, of course, of complacency. Ah, complacency. That seductive siren that whispers sweet nothings of good enough and why bother. It lulls us into a false sense of security, convincing us that our current situation, however unfulfilling, is as good as it's going to get. We become creatures of habit, settling into routines that require minimal effort and even less risk. We convince ourselves that we're content, that we've reached a comfortable plateau in our careers when deep down we know we're capable of so much more. Complacency, you see, is a master of disguise. It masquerades as contentment, as acceptance, even as gratitude for what we have. But beneath that veneer of positivity lies a dangerous truth. Complacency is the death knell of ambition the slow poison that extinguishes the fire of our dreams. It's the enemy of growth, the antithesis of progress. It keeps us tethered to the familiar, afraid to rock the boat, even if that boat is slowly sinking beneath the weight of our unfulfilled potential. Now, why, you might ask, do we cling so tightly to the familiar, even when it no longer serves us? Why do we allow comfort to trump ambition, fear to overshadow potential? The answer, my friends, lies in the seductive allure of the comfort zone. Our comfort zones, those cosy little bubbles we create around ourselves, offer a sense of security, of predictability, of control. Within these bubbles, we know what to expect, we understand the rules of the game, and we're rarely challenged to step outside our comfort zones. But here's the thing about comfort zones, my friends. They're like elastic waistbands. They might feel comfortable in the moment, but over time, 
they constrict our growth, limiting our potential and leaving us feeling stifled and unfulfilled. Growth, true growth, both personally and professionally, occurs when we push beyond the boundaries of the familiar, when we embrace discomfort as an opportunity for learning and expansion. It's about challenging our assumptions, questioning our beliefs and stepping into the unknown with a mix of courage and curiosity. So, how do we break free from the shackles of inaction? How do we overcome the fear, the procrastination, the complacency that keeps us tethered to the familiar? The answer, my friends, is deceptively simple yet profoundly challenging. We must act. We must make a conscious choice to step out of our comfort zones, to embrace discomfort as a catalyst for growth, and to start taking small, consistent steps towards our goals. It's about identifying our fears and finding ways to work through them, rather than allowing them to dictate our choices. It's about breaking down our goals into manageable steps, setting realistic deadlines, and holding ourselves accountable for making progress. And perhaps most importantly, it's about cultivating a mindset of growth, of embracing challenges as opportunities for learning and development, and of recognizing that setbacks are not failures, but rather stepping stones on the path to success. Now, I understand that embarking on a journey of career transformation can feel daunting, even overwhelming at times. But fear not, my friends, for you don't have to go it alone. Here at Imjoga Coaching and Consulting, we've dedicated ourselves to empowering individuals just like you to break free from the chains of inaction and create careers that align with their passions, their values and their aspirations. Our team of expert coaches provides personalised guidance, support and accountability to help you identify your strengths, overcome your limiting beliefs and develop a clear roadmap for achieving your career goals. We'll be with you every step of the way, providing the tools, resources and encouragement you need to succeed. Remember, dear viewers, the only limits to what you can achieve are the ones you place on yourselves. The power to shape your future, to create a career that brings you joy, fulfillment and a sense of purpose lies within you. As the great Roman poet Horace once said, Carpe diem, qua minimum credula postero, seize the day trusting as little as possible in the future. Don't wait for the perfect moment, for the stars to align or for the fear to subside. The time for action is now. Take that first step, however small, and watch as the path unfolds before you. Let's talk about the antidote to apathy. Small, consistent steps. The path to any goal begins with a single step. We often get overwhelmed by our aspirations. But you don't have to conquer the entire mountain in a day. Break down your goals into manageable chunks. Identify the smaller milestones that lead to your ultimate destination. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Now let's talk about the importance of setting clear, specific and achievable goals. You see, my friends, a goal without a plan is like a ship without a rudder, destined to drift aimlessly at sea. It's not enough to say, I want a better job or I wish I could earn more money. These are vague desires, not concrete goals. To transform your career, you need to get specific, my friends. What kind of job do you want? In what industry? What salary range are you targeting? Once you have a clear picture of your desired destination, it's time to chart your course. Break down your long-term goals into smaller, more manageable, short-term objectives. These are the stepping stones that will guide you along the way, providing a sense of progress and motivation as you work towards your ultimate goal. And don't forget to write it all down. There's a certain magic in committing your goals to paper or a digital document if you prefer. It's a way of making them real, of solidifying your commitment to achieving them. Plus, there's nothing quite as satisfying as ticking off completed tasks from your to-do list. Remember, clarity breeds focus and focus fuels action. By setting clear, specific and achievable goals, you provide yourself with a roadmap for success 
a clear direction for your career journey. Now, let's talk about a beast we all know far too well. A beast that lurks in the shadows of our busy lives, relentlessly stealing our time and derailing our best intentions. I speak, of course, of procrastination. But let me tell you, my friends, that moment rarely, if ever, arrives. And we're still stuck in the same rut, wondering where all the time went. But beneath that veneer of harmlessness lies a dangerous truth. Procrastination is a thief. It steals our time, our energy, and ultimately our potential. Now let's talk about the art of networking, a skill that often fills even the most seasoned professionals with a sense of dread. We imagine awkward conversations, forced smiles, and the dreaded exchange of flimsy business cards destined to gather dust in the bottom of our briefcases. But fear not, my friends, for networking doesn't have to be a soul-sucking exercise in superficiality. In fact, when done right, it can be an enjoyable and incredibly rewarding experience. The key is to approach networking with a spirit of genuine curiosity and a desire to build authentic connections. Think of it this way. Every person you meet, whether it's at a conference, a social gathering, or even queuing for your morning coffee, has a story to tell experiences to share, and insights that could potentially benefit your career journey. Don't be afraid to strike up conversations, ask questions, and listen attentively to the responses. People love to talk about themselves, and you never know what valuable information you might glean from a casual chat. Remember, networking is not about collecting business cards like trophies. It's about building relationships, fostering connections, and creating a support system that can help you navigate the often complex world of work. The art of skillful self-promotion, tooting your own horn without the cacophony. Now, let's address a topic that often makes us squirm with discomfort, self-promotion. We're raised to be humble, to downplay our achievements, to let our work speak for itself. But in today's competitive job market, a bit of strategic self-promotion can be the difference between blending into the background and standing out from the crowd. Now, I'm not suggesting you go around bragging about your every accomplishment or plastering your CV on billboards across the city. That's just bad form. The key to effective self-promotion is to be authentic, to showcase your strengths and achievements in a way that feels genuine and engaging. Think of it as storytelling, not boasting. Highlight your accomplishments in a way that demonstrates your value, your unique skills, and your passion for what you do. Use concrete examples, quantify your results whenever possible, and don't be afraid to let your personality shine through. And remember, self-promotion is not a one-time event, it's an ongoing process. Keep your resume updated, maintain an active online presence, and look for opportunities to share your expertise through writing, speaking, or mentoring others. Embracing the learning curve. Becoming a master of adaptation. Now, in this era of rapid technological advancement and ever-evolving industries, the ability to adapt is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. Gone are the days when you could learn one skill, master one profession, and coast along comfortably for your entire career. The modern workplace demands agility, flexibility, and a willingness to embrace lifelong learning. We must become masters of adaptation, constantly updating our skills, expanding our knowledge base, and evolving alongside the ever-changing demands of the job market. Think of it as a muscle, my friends. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. Embrace new technologies, seek out opportunities to learn new skills, and don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. Take online courses, attend workshops, read industry publications, and surround yourself with people who challenge you to grow and evolve. Remember, the only constant is change. And those who embrace change with open arms, with a thirst for knowledge and a willingness to adapt, will be the ones who thrive in the long run.
The Power of Mentorship Finding Your Guiding Light Now let's talk about the power of mentorship, a relationship that can be transformative both personally and professionally. A mentor, you see, is more than just an advisor or a teacher. They're a guide, a confidant, a cheerleader who believes in your potential, even when you doubt yourself. Finding a mentor, however, can feel like searching for a rare bird in a vast forest. But here's the thing. Mentors are everywhere. They're the experienced professionals in your field, the inspiring leaders you admire from afar, even the friends and family members who offer encouragement and support. The key is to be proactive, to reach out to people you admire, to express your desire to learn from their experiences and to be open to their guidance. Don't be afraid to ask for help, to seek advice, to admit that you don't have all the answers. Remember, mentors are made, not born. They're individuals who are passionate about sharing their knowledge, their experiences and their insights to help others succeed. And the rewards, both for the mentor and the mentee, can be immeasurable. Celebrating success, embracing setbacks, the roller coaster ride of career growth. Now let's talk about the roller coaster ride that is career growth. It's not always a smooth upward trajectory, my friends. There will be twists, turns, and the occasional loop de loop that leaves you feeling a bit queasy. There will be times when you soar to new heights achieving goals you once thought impossible and basking in the glow of your accomplishments. And then, just when you think you've got it all figured out, you'll hit a bump in the road, a setback that leaves you feeling deflated, discouraged and questioning your every decision. But here's the thing about setbacks, my friends. They're an inevitable part of the journey. They're the tuition we pay for our education in resilience, adaptability and the importance of dusting ourselves off and trying again. So, celebrate your successes no matter how small. Acknowledge your accomplishments, give yourself credit for the hard work you've put in and allow yourself to enjoy the ride. And when setbacks inevitably arise, as they always do, don't despair. View them as opportunities for learning, for growth and for refining your approach. the Majoga Method, your blueprint for career transformation. Now, I know what you're thinking, my friends. This all sounds rather daunting, old boy. Fear not, for you don't have to navigate this journey alone. At Mjoga Coaching, we empower individuals to take control of their careers and achieve their full potential. Our proven Mjoga Method provides a clear, structured and personalized roadmap for career transformation. Our expert coach and consultants will guide you every step of the way. Identify your strengths and passions. Set clear, specific and achievable goals. Develop effective time management strategies. Build a strong professional network. Master the art of self-promotion. Embrace lifelong learning and adaptability. Remember, your career is not a spectator sport. Step out of the stands, onto the field and take control of your destiny. Adaptability as your secret weapon. Adaptability is as old as time itself, yet more relevant than ever in today's rapidly changing world. The world is in a constant state of flux, like a river that never stops flowing. We humans like to think we're in control. We build routines and structures, then feel stuck when they crumble. Change is the only constant. It's the driving force behind progress and innovation. Adaptability is about developing the skills to navigate whatever the future throws at us. The Industrial Revolution, a case study in disruption and transformation. Now, to truly understand the importance of adaptability, we need to take a step back in time, back to a period of unprecedented upheaval and transformation, the Industrial Revolution. Imagine, if you will, a world where life revolved around the rhythms of nature, where generations toiled the land, their lives governed by the seasons, their skills passed down from parent to child for centuries. Then, suddenly, almost overnight, 
everything changes. Machines powered by steam and fueled by coal begin to replace human labor. Factories spring up, cities swell with workers seeking new opportunities, and the world as they knew it is transformed forever. Now, some might romanticize the past, longing for a simpler time. But the truth is, the Industrial Revolution, while undeniably disruptive, ushered in an era of unprecedented progress. It brought about advancements in manufacturing, transportation and communication that would eventually improve the lives of millions. But it also came at a cost. Those who clung to the old ways, who resisted the changing tides, were left behind, their skills obsolete, their livelihoods vanished. The lesson, my friends, is clear. Adapt or become a relic of the past. The digital age, riding the waves of technological change. Now, fast forward a couple of centuries, and we find ourselves in the midst of another revolution, one driven not by steam and iron, but by ones and zeros, algorithms and artificial intelligence. The digital age. The pace of change has gone from a steady march to a full-blown sprint. New technologies emerge at a dizzying rate, industries are disrupted overnight, and the skills required to thrive in this digital landscape are constantly evolving. Remember those massive clunky mobile phones we used to lug around? The ones that could barely make a call, let alone connect us to the vast repository of knowledge that is the internet? Now we carry more computing power in our pockets than the entire Apollo 11 mission needed to land on the moon. And let's not even get started on social media, that double-edged sword of connectivity and, well, let's just say it can be a bit of a time sink, can't it? The point is, my friends, the digital age is not a spectator sport. To thrive in this environment, we must be willing to learn, unlearn and relearn, to embrace new technologies and to constantly adapt our skills to meet the demands of the ever-evolving job market. From typewriters to touchscreens, embracing the evolution of skills. Now, some might lament the loss of traditional skills, the decline of craftsmanship, the increasing reliance on technology. And while it's true that some skills become obsolete, the key is to focus on the evolution of skills, not their extinction. Take typing, for instance. Once a highly sought-after skill, essential for secretaries and administrative staff, it's now almost ubiquitous, a basic requirement for most jobs. But that doesn't mean the skill itself has disappeared, it's simply evolved. Instead of mastering the intricacies of a manual typewriter, we now navigate touchscreens, utilize voice recognition software, and communicate using emojis and GIFs. The same principle applies to countless other professions. Accountants, once masters of spreadsheets and calculators, now rely on sophisticated software to analyze data and automate tasks. Doctors use artificial intelligence to diagnose diseases and perform complex surgeries with greater precision than ever before. The key, my friends, is to embrace these advancements, to view technology not as a threat but as a tool, an enabler that allows us to work smarter, not harder, and to focus on higher level tasks that require creativity, critical thinking and human interaction. Now let's address the elephant in the room, or perhaps I should say the robot in the warehouse. Automation. It's no secret that automation is transforming the workplace at an unprecedented rate, with machines and algorithms taking over tasks once performed by humans. And yes, it's true that some jobs will be displaced, particularly those that involve repetitive manual tasks. But let's not give in to the doom and gloom just yet, my friends. History has shown us time and again that technological advancements, while disruptive in the short term, ultimately create new opportunities, new industries and new jobs that we can't even imagine yet. The key is to be prepared, to anticipate these shifts, and to focus on developing skills that complement automation not compete with it. Think creativity, problem solving, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and the ability to collaborate effectively with both humans and machines. Remember, the future of work is not about humans versus machines. It's about humans and machines working together, each leveraging their unique strengths to achieve common goals.
Now let's talk about a phenomenon that's upending traditional notions of work, the gig economy. Gone are the days when a job meant a lifetime commitment to a single company, a gold watch at retirement, and perhaps a pension if you were lucky. Today, more and more people are opting for freelance work, short-term contracts and portfolio careers, piecing together income streams from various sources and embracing the flexibility and autonomy that comes with being their own bosses. The gig economy, like any major shift, presents both challenges and opportunities. On the one hand, it offers greater freedom, flexibility, and the potential to earn a good living by leveraging your skills and passions. On the other hand, it requires self-discipline, entrepreneurial spirit, and a willingness to embrace uncertainty. The key to thriving in the gig economy, my friends, is to be adaptable, resourceful, and constantly seeking new opportunities to learn, grow, and expand your network. Now, in this rapidly changing world, there's one investment that will always yield the highest returns, investing in yourself. Gone are the days when education was something you completed in your youth, a one and done affair before entering the workforce. Today, lifelong learning is not just a buzzword, it's a necessity. To stay ahead of the curve, to remain relevant, to adapt and thrive in the face of constant change, we must make a conscious effort to continuously update our skills, expand our knowledge base, and embrace new ways of thinking. The good news is, learning has never been more accessible. We have a wealth of resources at our fingertips. Online courses, workshops, webinars, podcasts, books, articles, and even good old-fashioned conversations with experts in our fields. The key is to be curious, to cultivate a thirst for knowledge, and to view learning not as a chore, but as an adventure, an opportunity to explore new horizons, challenge your assumptions, and expand your understanding of the world around you. Remember, the more you learn, the more adaptable you become. And in a world that's constantly changing, adaptability is your secret weapon, your key to unlocking a future filled with possibilities. The M. Yoga approach to adaptability. Thriving in a world of constant change. How do I keep up with the pace of change? Fear not, for you don't have to navigate this journey alone. At M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we empower you to thrive in this era of disruption. We equip you with the tools, strategies and mindset to embrace a growth mindset. Remember, the only way to deal with an unpredictable future is to become adaptable and resilient. And here at M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we're here to guide you every step of the way. So, dear viewers, as we conclude our exploration of inaction and the importance of embracing action in all its glorious forms, I leave you with this thought. The future is not something that happens to us. It's something we create. Every decision we make Every action we take, every risk we embrace, shapes the trajectory of our lives, both personally and professionally. The only wrong decision, as we've discussed, is the decision to do nothing, to allow fear, procrastination or complacency to dictate our choices. So I urge you, my friends, embrace the unknown. Step outside your comfort zones, challenge your assumptions, take risks, make mistakes, learn from them and never ever stop exploring the vast landscape of possibilities that lie ahead. And so, my friends, we come to the end of our journey. From the sun-drenched battlefields of ancient Greece to the dimly lit laboratories of scientific pioneers, from the bustling streets of Silicon Valley to the ever-evolving landscape of the digital age. We've explored the seductive allure of inaction, the insidious ways it creeps into our lives, whispering doubts, fueling fears, and ultimately preventing us from reaching our full potential. We've delved into the perils of procrastination, the paralysis of analysis, the fear of failure, and the slow poison of complacency. But we've also witnessed the extraordinary power of action, the transformative impact it has on individuals, organizations, and even the course of history. 
We've seen how those who dare to act, who embrace challenges, who push beyond the boundaries of the familiar, are the ones who shape their own destinies and leave an indelible mark on the world. Remember Alexander the Great, who dared to conquer the seemingly unconquerable? Or Marie Curie, who defied societal norms and revolutionized science with her groundbreaking research? And what about Steve Jobs, who challenged conventions and transformed the way we live, work and communicate? These individuals and countless others like them understood a fundamental truth. Action is the catalyst for progress. It's the bridge between dreams and reality, the driving force behind innovation, the key to unlocking a future filled with possibilities. The call to action, my friends, is not a one-time summons. It's a constant companion, a persistent whisper that urges us to step outside our comfort zones, to embrace challenges, to never stop learning, growing and evolving. It's about recognizing that we are not passive observers in our own lives, we are the architects of our own destinies. We have the power to choose our paths, to shape our futures, and to create careers that bring us joy, fulfillment and a sense of purpose. But action, true action, requires more than just good intentions or fleeting bursts of motivation. It demands a shift in mindset, a willingness to embrace discomfort, a commitment to consistency and a healthy dose of self-belief. It's about setting clear, specific and achievable goals, breaking them down into manageable steps and then taking those steps one by one, day after day, even when the going gets tough. It's about surrounding ourselves with supportive people, seeking out mentors who inspire us and celebrating our successes along the way. So, my friends, as we conclude our journey together, I leave you with this challenge. Take the reins of your career destiny. Don't wait for permission for the perfect moment or for all the answers to magically reveal themselves. Start where you are with what you have and take that first step, however small, towards the career you envision for yourself. Embrace the unknown, navigate the challenges and never ever underestimate the extraordinary power within you to achieve remarkable things. And remember, you don't have to go it alone. Here at MJoga Coaching and Consulting, we're dedicated to empowering individuals just like you to break free from the shackles of inaction and create careers that align with their passions, their values and their aspirations. We'll be your guides, your cheerleaders, your partners in transformation. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call today and let's embark on this exciting journey together. Because as the great Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's